Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OPHL, since we're back on the OU Suspect Test Ladder today. Using this cool Mega Aerodactyl team I just uh, whipped up, uh, basically the idea is you use these, uh, this Volt turn core right here of Coco and Scarf Landers uh, to bring in the heavy hitters like Aerodactyl and uh, Kieran Black. We have uh, Rapid Spin Drill, just because these threats don't really appreciate hazards, and Scarf Keldeo to help out uh, with the Volcarona. So this is like the first video, uh, the OU Live, in a while that I'm not using defensive landers, I'm using a different set. So. That's the wrong team. Uh, we're gonna forfeit this one because I'm not very high on the ladder anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But we're gonna go ahead and find this match, uh, match with this one right here, as uh, we find some interesting stuff right here. Uh, we're uh, th this is the spec suspect test ladder, so we're just laddering up to get Rex, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, he's kind of destroyed by Aerodactyl if you look at the matchup. But what I'll do here is just lead off with my Scarf Landorus on the Auroras, which I know we can uh, live a, uh, out speed with our Scarf, so I'll just go right for the U-turn. He's probably going to clip an Ice-type move if I had to guess, so we can U-turn out, bring in our Keldeo. And uh, he's going to get up a Rocks, actually, so uh, pretty cool stuff right there. And now here I'm kind of expecting the uh, Latias, so I can uh, probably switch out, or I can just go for a Secret Sword. I think I want to go for a Secret Sword and just get off whatever damage I can on the Lottie. And then we can go into like our spit after drill and try to get rid of these hazards after that. As he's actually just going to stay in, so I'm glad I didn't go with Coco or anything. As uh, now he might bring in Lottie, I guess. Uh, there's the Lottie, so I'll go um, drill right here. And a rapid spin. He actually decides to double out, so I know we can take hits from this um, on right here. So I'll go right for the rapid spin on the Aurora Veil. I didn't even know this thing got that. That's pretty cool. And uh, now what I can do is just get out my own rocks. I got Aurora Bell and Reflect, so a ton of screens right here, but uh, this thing is definitely light clay then. I'll go for Iron Head as he gets up all three, so we're gonna we're practically doing nothing with our attacks for the next three turns right here. But uh, that's totally alright. I just need to go at it to something that doesn't make it so that we lose to like shift gear make gear now. I think I'll go for Earthquake right here. As unfortunately he ends up going at it to Latias, but we do have Mold Breaker. And uh, I don't think this thing can touch us at all, so I'll go right here for the Iron Head. That's not going to matter, um, as long as I put you into range of my other mons. We should be good by the time these screens go away, so I'll go right here for the Iron Head. I don't even know why I'm not going for Earthquake. He probably has a Roost. Uh, if we can crit through all of this, that would be pretty cool, but uh, we'll see if he has a Roost or not. I'm kind of hoping he doesn't. He does have Recover, so that kind of sucks. But these screens are going to be gone, so. Uh, there's stored power, which is totally fine. And now what I can do here is just go right for the Earthquake again. As we actually do a good amount, thanks to that uh, screen being gone. As uh, now what I can do here is just go right for um, bring in my... Uh, there's several options. I think my best play is going Aerodactyl and clicking Stone Edge. So that's what we're going to do right here. Should do a good amount. Zooming we connect as we do, and it doesn't do a lot actually, but he's going to go for Thunderbolt. Knock me out, but now we can go Scarf Landorus and U-turn for the kill, which is great. The problem is, I, I really can't let that Cryogonal set up the Aurora Veil again. That's really what I have to stop for right now. I also have to stop the Belly Drum from the Azumarill, so we uh, are able to knock that guy out. And now what I'll do here is just bring out my Coco. Uh, forces in Magirna, I think. At least from the look of it, it forces out Magirna, but... Uh, if he's an Electric Seed Halucha, and I just set up the terrain for him, that could suck, I guess. But I really am not expecting that. Uh, we might just clean with Thunderbolt right here, to be honest. I mean, uh, Bandit Aqua Jet will do a lot, don't get me wrong, but... Uh, he actually ends up going out into Cragnal, which I know will die to our Thunderbolt right here, so I'll go right for that. Just knock him out. As uh, he's not going to be able to get up any screens anymore. As this thing probably wants to go right for Shift Gear. I'll just go right for Thunderbolt. Even if he's all out pummeling, I know we can live that. Uh, I don't know if we can live Gigavolt Havoc under the electric terrain. We should be able to. It's resisted, but it'll do a lot. And uh, if he's shift geared, this Thunderbolt is definitely doing a lot. If he's Assault Vest, then he'll take it better. But uh, he does go right for the shift gear. Oh, that animation is cool. That's the first time I'm seeing that. So I go for Thunderbolt right here. As he, uh, That's not going to do a lot at all. And uh, we should be able to live a, a Banded Aqua Jet from this range, I would think. And uh, we should be good to go. 
we can intimidate the Halucha if we need to. And he's just going to forfeit the match. So Tapu Koko definitely came through. Yeah, we're not very high on the Suspect Test ladder right now, but no, that's all right. We're using a more of a fun team, but Mega Aerodactyl can definitely do some work. Uh, Simon 3.0. <laughs> okay, uh, Low Pony is definitely an, a possible lead right here. I think I just want to lead off with my Landorus. I don't really see a bad lead matchup for it. Um, Hoopa, if he leads Hoopa, that would be like ideal. But uh, we're really weak to Volcarona now that I look at it. Um, Aerodactyl might not might be able to take a hit depending on whether or not he has Hazards up and if he um, has Psychic or not. But he's going to disconnect, so um, I'll be right back and see if he wants to come back. Alright, so that guy did not come back, so we're going to go ahead and find another point uh, match right here. Um, I'll take those points, like, any day. We just got uh, free points. We find some webs offense, which kind of sucks, but uh, I, I thought the webs would stop becoming common after OLT, but um, it's alright. We can lead off here with our... Um, it's probably leading Shuckle. Uh, Kiram's a fine lead, but there's no point to taking the Life Orb recoil. I can go out here with, and lead off with my Excadrill. As he decides to lead off with his uh, Shuckle, as expected. I'll go right here for the Iron Head. A flinch would be amazing. As uh, he actually does not flinch us, but uh, he can't stay in. So I'll uh, I'll, I'll go right here for the Iron Head right here. As he goes Zard, which is going to take a good amount. And uh, th whether or not there's a Zard or X or Y, I don't know. But uh, do I need Landorus? Uh, I don't need Landorus, actually. I'm hoping this is Zard X. It is Zard Y, so we'll see if he decides to Fire Blast right here or what he decided to do. Goes for Solar Beam, which uh, he's probably going to stay in right here, so I'm just going to go for Stone Edge. Knock that guy out, and uh, this is probably where he'll go back into Shuckle and get up the webs, but he actually is going to try to get up his rocks right here from the looks of it, so uh, I could stay in. I can also just go out into my Karam on the uh, Stealth Rocks, and what I'll do here is just throw off an Ice Beam. Ice Beam should blow anything back. This thing will get to it KO'd. Uh, there's that, and uh, if he's expecting an Ice Beam, I'll just go for Fusion Bolt right here. In case he wants to randomly go Greninja, or Magirna, I guess. But uh, that's going to be able to knock that guy out, and uh, we're in a good spot. I guess Kartana could be a little bit of an issue. He goes Magirna, which is definitely doesn't want to take Earth Powers. So we'll go right for that. We do a good amount. So he's going to go for Flash Cannon to knock me out, but now we can go Scarf Landorus and just click the Earthquake button. I'm hoping he just stays in, and hoping I overpredict, but... Something tells me, yeah, he's going to switch out, but it really wasn't worth clicking anything else right there. That's what I'll do here is just go into my... Oh, let's go for Earthquake, because he's, he's probably going to Earthquake himself. He goes for Stone Edge and just knocks me out, which is totally fine. I would have Earthquaked right there if I were him. So now I go Keldeo. I can just click Surf. Surf looks pretty free. Knock that guy out. Scarf Cortana is looking like the biggest problem right now. This is probably Scarf Cartana, and I uh, think he has to go for a Leaf Blade. So do we go Drill? If he's Scarf, then I think we just lose. So I have to go for, uh, he's not Scarf Cartana, which is great. As he goes right for the Bloom Doom, and I can go Coco right here. Go right for the Thunderbolt, and uh, just sweep him with the Thunderbolt. Uh, zooming, that, that was probably a Salt Vest, Magirna, actually. What did we hit it with before? We hit it with an Earth Power, so it's probably not a Salt Dust Magirna, never mind. Uh, this should go down. It actually doesn't, and we might just have we might have just gotten swept by the Greninja because of Water Shirk and I don't know, it'll be it'll be close. I go right here for the um, for the earthquake. And we'll see whether or not he wants to water shirk and sweep me. It'll kind of depend on how many hits he gets. My play here is Stone Edge every time, as he actually just doesn't even go for it, so uh, I think I might have nearly choked that one away, but we end up getting the win with Aerodactyl at the end, which is cool, and we're approaching the 1200s right here. I'm still trying to get Rex. Uh, not sh uh, we do have quite a few wins right now. I think we're like 9-1. and one. The one loss was pretty stupid. It was from the previous OU Live, but uh, this is another fun team. It's regular Metagross, which is cool. And uh, what I'll do here is just lead off with my Keldeo. I think it looks pretty all right. Decidueye is probably his main response to it, so I can try to double out, depending on what he wants to lead with. As he actually leads off with the Greninja, so I think I really want to go Kiram right here, but I'm just going to go right for the Secret Sword. 
Um, I wanted to go cure him so bad, but it's really not worth it. And I'll just go Landorus right here and try to get up my rocks. He could be Nasty Plot with, like, um, Decidium Z, but that's not something I'd expect. If he actually goes Guard Jump, which is totally fine, I'll get up, I'll go right for the Hidden Power Ice right here. That's, uh, that, that's quite a bit. I know he scarfed into that, so I'll go cure him on the Aqua Tail, and, uh, he probably is expecting, like, he doesn't really have an Ice Beam switch in. I think I'll go for Fusion Bolt. As he actually goes for into Metagross, which is going to take a good amount. And I, there's no way I want to stand right here. I could stand, but uh, it's really not worth it. Uh, I don't know. Metagross is fine. I can try to Earthquake, but then again, we just go down to Bullet Punch. All this Earth Power right here. And uh, actually just knock him out straight up, so I'm glad we stayed in. Um, I was really expecting like a Bullet Punch or something. Banded Bullet Punch might have done the trick for him. Can we live a scissor, scissor bullet punch now, at this point? If he's like max attack. Scissor Omega utility set. We're gonna start Kiram. For just all out attack or bullet punch. We should be able to live and hit him power fire him. Uh, unless he's max attack, I didn't count that. Uh, we, we're at 68. Yeah, we should be able to live one. What if he's max attack adamant? Then it's a roll in our favor. I'm really hoping he's not max attack adamant and we just live this bullet punch. Because hidden power fire is going to blow this thing back. Um, especially if he has all the attacking wisdom, he's probably not that bulky. He'll probably be like offensive swords dance with speed. But hidden power fire should do the job right here. He does forfeit. Um, I, I, I understand that because Kiram completely blew, blew him back. As we're now in the 1200s, which is cool, and we're going to go ahead and get another one. Um, I understand that guy forfeiting completely, but um, I would not have forfeited so early, but we'll see what we want to do right here. I think Kiram's a fine lead. I don't really see a bad Kiram lead. No, you know, this time I'm going to do what I said I would, but we're going to do it properly this time. I'm going to go lead Kelio and then actually switch out into Kiram on the Decidueye switch. Am I a man? I, I'm going Kiram this time. I don't care. He's definitely going Decidueye. So we actually get the player right this time, which I probably should have done last time, but it's alright. Um, what I'll do here is just go right for the Ice Beam. Uh, do a lot, not knock him out though, and he we froze him. Ooh, that sucks for him. I, I feel for him, I uh, definitely do. Go for the Ice Beam right here. And uh, hopefully just knock him out from here. We do knock him out, I'm not sure what he went for, maybe a Spirit Shackle or something. Which uh, kind of sucks for him, because that would have put me into range of the Mega Pinsir. He goes Mance, I'll just Ice Beam right here, uh, he doesn't stay in and just try to Dragon Dance, but I'm not letting that happen. We're going for the Ice Beam, just knocking that thing out. Uh, so we'll see what he wants to bring out. I can't let him set up basically, is what it comes down to. We, 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 we shouldn't be that worried about Pinsir just because we have Aerodactyl and Coco in the back. In fact, I could try switching out into one of them, but it's really not worth it. I'll just go for the Ice Beam, completely blow that thing back because he decided to not Mega. And, uh, out comes Darmanitan, I will Earth Power you. We will outspeed you if you don't have speed investment, or if you're not max speed. That doesn't even knock us out. That's Earth Power, will knock that thing out. <laughs> and, uh, that should be it. Uh, this thing's probably going for Ice Shard. There's the Ice Shard, and we just go... Let's go Keldeo. Right for the Secret Sword. Blow him back. Hopefully, I think uh, I think we should be fine. Um, he's locked in, then we're definitely fine, and uh, Secret Sword should knock him out, I think. Uh, no, he barely hangs on, as he's gonna go for the Earthquake, which doesn't knock me out, and I just go for Secret Sword again. That's not gonna knock me out, and Secret Sword should break the Magnezone sturdy for like any other mod on my team. Even Scarf Magnezone cannot sweep me. We have Scarf Landers too, so this game's over. Uh. Yeah, that's just gonna knock him out. He was he was magnet pull, right? I don't know. I was thinking about sturdy. It's because I used sturdy magnezone in a, one of my draft league matches earlier, so um, I, I've been kind of thinking about it. But we can uh, find another match right here. As uh, we get this pretty standard volt turn, it looks like uh, probably volt. Uh, actually, I think every month's a volt switch or U turn. Either volt switch U turn, either one of the two U turn volt switch U turn. Yeah. So this guy's probably going to be clicking that move a lot, but uh, we can lead off here with our Keldeo. Once again, I can try to lead Keldeo bait in the Tornadus and go cure him right away. And I think that's what I'm going to try to do. 
because uh, he doesn't really have a Karen Black. I mean, a Karen switch in. Alternatively, I don't think it's worth the risking Karen like that. I think Scarf Landorus is just a much better lead, and we can just U-turn out on anything. Uh, I'll go for the Earthquake. He does stay in, so uh, we're gonna knock this guy out. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, he probably went for the HP Ice, as uh, we're gonna be able to get knock that guy out with the Scarf Earthquake. Now he's gonna go either be forced to go out onto Tornadus or Rotom, or his own Landorus. Or SD Scizor, if that's what he wants to do. But I think SD Scizor might get 2 hit KO'd. I mean, Sword Stance Scissor is so strong. I think I'm gonna have to go Keldeo if he's. If it's SD Roost, then I think we might just lose right here. That's a big threat. Uh, we'll see what he wants to bring out. He just forfeits, so uh, I think he didn't, wasn't really happy about the fact that I was Scarf Landorus. So uh, we'll find a lot of people just forfeiting on low ladder, which is cool, but we'll find another one right here. Uh, I saw a comment on a Jambad video the other day that just said how to defeat the low ladder. Just click the super effective move, and it's been working out. <laughs> Uh, but I think this is the point where we should probably start out playing. Uh, we're taking a while to find a match right here. We found a Mega Gallade squad. I think that's Mega Gallade, which is kind of cool because it's not a mon you see a lot. Uh, it's kind of Aerodactyl fodder though. I'll just lead off with Aerodactyl. Uh, this thing will die to Stone Edge. Uh, please connect. Uh, I want Aerodactyl to do work. We do connect it. And I can just click it again. Uh, we do connect it on this, and I could probably Earthquake right here. Just get off some damage. That does a lot. Go for Revolt Switch, so... Not sure what his uh, switch in's gonna be. Chansey is such a problem. You will go down to Wing Attack. Shadow Sneak will not knock me out. Uh, wing Attack's gonna blow you back, I doubt that mattered. Uh, Scarf Chomp, probably. I'll just go Landers. On the Dragon Claw, which is totally fine, and I'll just uh, U turn right here. I know he's Scarf. Oh, uh, he's not Scarf. He's. Did we see an item? We didn't see an item. That kind of sucks. Yeah, I'm just gonna sack off Aerodactyl. Go through the Swords Dance. Uh, I know we outspeed though. I can go right here for the Aqua Tail. Do a good amount. We actually crit him. I don't know why I didn't go for Earthquake. Earthquake would have just done more. But uh, that's alright, he's not going to be able to knock us out. And I can just go uh, Coco right here. Or how much did my U-turn do? I don't want to. I don't want myself taking any more damage though, so I'll just go Kelio. I'll go right for the Secret Sword. Knock that guy out, and Secret Sword is actually looking really spammable at this point. I think it's forced to Temigirna right here, in which case I go Drill. Actually, this thing's going to go down, never mind. Yeah, get out of here. I, I didn't realize that we weakened it so much. And uh, we might just sweep. Uh, you will go down to Secret Sword. Unless you're... Defensive and live. Go for a roost. Yeah, I'm gonna go cure him. I, uh, I just moved my thing away. Okay, I'm gonna have to edit that out. I'm definitely gonna have to edit that thing out. Okay, <laughs> my bad. Uh, you guys won't see it because it's gonna be. It's not, you, you guys wouldn't see it, but we're gonna ice beam, knock that guy out, and um, hopefully be fine. I'll go right here for the fusion bolt, I think, is my best bet. Yeah, I think I'll just spam Fusion Ball. He's just gonna spam Soft World, so. I'll go Coco. Taunt him and then wear him down. So taunt him right here. Uh, we should be able to take even a Specs Water Shuriken from Greninja. Go for Seismic Toss. I'll just Thunderbolt for damage. And then we should be able to sweep with our Keldeo. So go Keldeo right here. Secret Sword twice, and we should be good. I think. Hopefully. Uh, Secret Sword does a lot, and yeah, we'll just do it again. Uh, he did see that we were Scarf. I think he saw that we were... No, because uh, he was not Scarf Guard Champ, so... Uh, technically, he doesn't know that we're Scarf yet. But uh, we Secret Sword right here. The only thing he could knock me out with is Extra Sensory, and he's not Scarf, so... Uh, we're going to knock that guy out. Get another win, which is cool. And uh, we'll find one, another one right here. And we definitely need <laughs> Quality Sushi. I like that name. Sushi is actually my favorite food, in case you guys didn't know, so... Go for Landorus right here. Uh, I really want to expect his Landorus and go for HP Ice, but or U-turn. I'll just do, two stays in. See, that's why I don't like this. But I'll just go right for Earthquake on a Flare Cannon miss. 
Uh, he actually doesn't have a great earthquake switch in it, aside from his own lander, so I'll just go right here for Stealth Rock. I'm not sure if he's gonna be crazy enough. Yeah, he's just gonna decide to switch out this time. As I'll just go here into my Kyurem. Kyurem, I, I don't think he would attack right here, I think he would go for Stealth Rock. Uh, if I really think he's attacking, I'll just go Kyurem. As he goes to go for Stealth Rock, so we get uh, Kyurem in pretty freely right here. As he doesn't have a great Ice Beam switch in, probably Magirna would be a switch in, I would guess. Yeah, we'll just go for Ice Beam. On the off chance, this is one of those guys who wants to stay in. We'll see whether he's not. He's Assault Vest right now. I'm hoping he's not, as uh, I think he that is Assault Vest damage. So now I go uh, Drill again. On the Flash Cannon, and I'll just go right here for the Spin. On the Aura Sphere, and I'll go for the um, Earthquake. Um, I could probably just spam spin. I think we saw Rocky Helmet actually. He should not speed us. He's just gonna earthquake, which is fine. Like I'll just go I'll just go cure him right here. Go right for the earth power. Cause I really wanted to KO the eight assault vest here now, and I think that's coming out again. Nope, this guy wants to stay in and supersonic sky strike on me, so uh, this is going great. I think I st uh, we can definitely still win uh, if we just uh, preserve our Scarf Caldeo properly. I'm gonna, I'll go for Stir. And it's definitely not over. But you're not gonna come out. We need a drill for this. But now I think we need to like uh, sack something. Now we go Landorus on the Flare Cannon. Now let's go for Earthquake. Hopefully not come out. He still has his own Kyurem, which is going to be really scary, but we knock him out, so... Still not over, but, like, we definitely made a few unnecessary predictions right there. Uh, right here, I'm not sure what his op uh, best play is. I'm just going to go right here for the Earthquake. Let him knock me out, as he actually decides to defog my hazards away. Uh, we could have gotten a free turn right there. Just knock me out, man. So, uh, my play is uh, U-turn right here. Into uh, Karadactyl. I guess. He might expect Dazzling Gleam, I guess, too. And he kind of needs this thing for uh, my, um, my Keldeo. If I'm Scarf Keldeo, I, I could definitely clean him up late game if he doesn't have any other Scarfers. Yeah, this is definitely still winnable, but he actually decides to uh, do that, so I go Error right here on the Earthquake, which is not going to affect me. That's cool, um, Earthquake, but uh, we're pretty free to Wing Attack. Um, I could Stone Edge if I really want to risk the miss. I guess I will. We do connect it, so uh, we're going to knock that guy out. And Mega Aerodactyl's speed is really going to come into clutch right here. I'm hoping it's not Scarf Kyurem. If it's not, then we should be good to go. Because uh, he goes Kartana. Um, I guess what I'll do here is just Wing Attack for damage. He goes for Leaf Blade, which we do live. Uh, we do see Scarf. Uh, does that sweep us? I think that sweeps us. Cause I think we have to sack. No, we can't sack anything. We just lose. Yeah, we just lose. Because that's going to knock us out. Uh, I think I just have to bank on him not being max speed scarf, I guess. He has max speed scarf, and then he's going to knock this thing out too. And that's going to be that. I definitely think we could have won that late game had he not been scarf. Because Secret Sword was really spammable at that point, but uh, he got us, so uh, that's going to be a loss find another one right here as we find this Jirachi squad and uh, what I'll do here is just lead off with my uh, I think drill is pretty fine but Scarf Landorus is also good I decided to lead off with this I'll just go right here for the uh, I think he's just gonna go for HP ice so I'll just go with Kyurem right here on the uh, Scarf HP ice he could also be Scarf U-turn but I'm really expecting an HP ice right here so I think Kyurem's gonna be a free switch in Kyurem actually completely destroys him, so I don't know. I think I don't think it's worth. It. We can we can have a free switch into Kyurem later. I can instead go um, for my own HPS right here. As he decides to U-turn, so um, we're gonna go for the HPS. Hopefully he goes Zygarde, or maybe he thinks that we just went for a U-turn too and not for the HPS. But uh, he should go goes Finny. That's not a play. Uh, he gets all his health back with leftovers, but that's fine. I'll just go um, drill. Even if he serves me, it's fine. Drill doesn't have a big importance in this match. Goes for combine. I'll just get on my rocks. I don't know what he's doing. You're not gonna be able to combine enough. Goes for skull. Does a lot. Please don't burn. Okay. 
stinks. And I'll just, um, I guess I'll Iron Head and attempt to flinch. Uh, will Earthquake, okay. Scalds to knock me out. Kyurem comes out here and it's just Fusion Bolts for the kill. Despite the fact that we have, like, no attack investment, Fusion Bolt is so strong. Coming off of base 170 attack stats, so. Uh, it should be able to knock this guy out. He might expect it and just go, like, a Zygarde. But he doesn't really have a switch in. He could go Ditto too, I guess, but I'm not sure whether uh, he'll take 25% or 12% when he comes in with Ditto. Because he'll turn. I don't know whether he transforms and then takes damage, but he does go Zygarde. This is probably like Sub Coil or some defensive variant based on the makeup of his team. And uh, it shouldn't have a Dragon Time move, so let's go right here for the Ice Beam. Knock that guy out, yeah. He could have tried to pivot into Jirachi, I guess, but. Uh, the only way he could have uh, potentially that could have been a problem is if he was like max speed, won a speed tie, and then went for. Uh, uh, we'll see whether our Karim is, um, is max uh, speed. We are plus speed nature, so if he was like Dragonium Z, goes Karim. Definitely going for an Ice Beam right here. I'll just go Keldeo. No, it's not worth. I'll just go for the Ice Beam again because Keldeo's. Uh, okay, I have to preserve Karim too. I guess I'll go Keldeo. If I go Keldeo, he's definitely going to go out into his um, Tapu Fini, so I can try to double out. If he goes for Fusion Bolt right here, that'll be unfortunate, but then I'll know he's Scarf Ditto and I can go Landorus after that. Got off free um, Earthquakes. Went for the Ice Beam, which is great, and now I get off. Um, I'm just going to double into Coco right here. Because he should not stay in. He does go Finny, as I uh, predicted, so now I'll, go, uh, now I'll go for the Thunderbolt. I'll just go for Thunderbolt right here. Venusaur should be his play, but he's actually decided to stay in, so that's exactly why I went for Thunderbolt. I could have taunted to prevent the Defog too. So now I guess what I'll do is I'll go for the... Uh, let's go for the Thunderbolt again. Our Rocker is dead, so I just want this thing gone. He does go Jirachi actually, so that's an interesting play. I can just Thunderbolt again, I guess. He is Scarf, so I'll just go Caldeo right here. Scarf, this thing being Scarf is going to be such a pain. I can also go Land Earth. Uh, I'm just going to Earthquake. Hopefully we break through right here. This game might just come down to us breaking through this flinch. Uh, he's actually not... He's Scarf, but not Max Speed Scarf. He's probably Adamant Scarf then. So Jolly Scarf, Land Earth is going to be able to outspeed that and knock it out. Which is why you always run um, Jolly Scarf Jirachi. So I guess if I were him, you definitely like Stone Edge or HPS right here. I'm just gonna see what he wants to lock himself into. He goes for U turn, so yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. Talon Flame is a big problem now that I look at the look at it too, but Aerodactyl should be able to outspeed it. So I guess what I'll do here is just go Aero. On the SD, which is totally fine, I can go right here for the Stone Edge. Or Aqua Tail is probably more accurate, but Stone Edge, it probably doesn't knock him out. Stone Edge is probably the best bet right here. And just to knock him out. And uh, he doesn't have a good Stone Edge switch in either. Uh, we're just going to knock that guy out. So, uh, he wasn't Gale Wings, because if he was Gale Wings, he would have gone for a pro Or maybe he was Gale Wings and just didn't go for a priority move. Out comes the second Wing Attack this. Uh, wing attack is pretty nice right here. And, uh, uh, well, he's probably gonna go for Giga Drain, but wing attack does a good amount on a sludge bomb, so he tried to predict my switch out. As I'll just go right for the wing attack again. Could go for Stone Edge too, but wing attack's better. As yeah, this guy's just not switching out, I don't know why, but, uh, we should have the game in the bag. He's gonna forfeit right there, and, uh, that's going to be, uh, that. So, uh, we're around 30 minutes right now, so I'll leave it up right there for you guys. If you guys enjoyed, Joey, definitely be sure to subscribe down below. The team will also be down below in the description if you guys want to check it out, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.